Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. Today I'm going to show you how I created this vintage inspired look. So if you want to know how to recreate it, then just keep watching. Thank you. So as we're doing such a strong lip today, it's very important that you prime your lip area. That way um, your lip colour will last longer throughout the day and go on a lot smoother as well. So off camera I used um, the lip scrub from Lush and that's in the flavour Bubblegum. And then I moisturised them with um, Blistex Relief Cream. So, firstly I'm going to prime my face, um, and for that I'll be using Bare Minerals Prime Time in Fair. I just take a small amount of that on the back of my hand and then use my fingers to apply it. Next I'll be taking the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and just be applying that all over my face. Um, I will be using the sponge damp just so that the application goes on a lot smoother. Now for my eyes, firstly I'm going to use um, Clinique um, Touch Tint for Eyes in the shade Soft Heather. I'll be applying that with my finger. And then over the top in the centre of the eyelid, I'm going to be using Booty Cool from Urban Decay in the Naked 2 palette. And then we're going to take Foxy, the lighter shade in the palette, and just run that under my eyebrows. Then with a small crease brush, I'm going to take Tease, the um, only other matte colour in the palette, which is a sort of grey beige. And I'm going to take that on the inside and outside of the eye just to set that soft heather colour. And then just start to blend it inwards. Through the crease and into um, the booty cool colour. Then take a small amount of teas and just run it under the eyes. Next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with Makeup Revolution's Arch and Shape and I'm going to be using the pencil end just to fill them in lightly and then I'll brush, brush them through with a spoolie. So this will just get rid of any clumps of product and make them look a bit smoother. Now for my eyeliner, I'll be using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper, which is a black shade. Um, firstly, I'll be taking that on the inner corner Then what I do to create the wing, I stamp a line um, coming from the outer corner of my eye upwards, as if aiming for the end of my eyebrow. Like that. And then I connect the end of the line to the um, bit over my lash line. Like that. And then I fill in that triangle. Once you're happy with your eyeliner, just retouch up any foundation that might have come off whilst you were applying it. I tend to leave setting my foundation till last because um, I'm often using like parts of my face as an anchor whilst doing eyeliner and things like I rest my hand on my face or when doing my lips. So if you've already set it with powder, you won't be able to go back over it and touch up any bits that I've rubbed off. I'm not going to do my mascara until my eyeliner's dried, just so that I don't um, mess up any of it. So I'm going to start with the lips, and to outline them, I'll be using Cherry Pencil by MAC. So 
So once you're happy with the lip shape you've created, you can then go ahead and apply your lipstick. For that I'll be using one by Maybelline and it's called Pleasure Me Red and it's shade 547. So firstly I'm going to use it straight from the bullet. If you feel any parts need to be neatened up, you can go in with a lip brush just to neaten up the edges and get a sharper lip line, but um, I'm quite happy with that. Next I'm going to be curling my lashes with my MAC eyelash curler. For my mascara, I'm using Lash Sensational by Maybelline. For my under eye concealer, I'll be using um, Brush and Highlighter by Estee Lauder. I'll be using that under my eyes and on the tops of my cheeks. And then buffing that in with a concealer buffing brush. For my blush I'll be using one by Bourjois Cosmetics number no. 3, it's their cream blush. And I'll be applying that with a Wayne Goss brush. So there we go guys, that's the finished makeup look complete. So off camera I just applied some false eyelashes and then I lined my waterline with um, a nude coloured pencil and for that I used Makeup Revolution's Amazing Inner Eye Brightener. So um, thank you so much for watching, um, here's a close up of the eye makeup for you. And um, please like and subscribe to stay up to date with my videos and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, bye bye.